Welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. Video usage on websites today is commonplace, and like audio, is a great way to engage with your site's visitors and communicate your proposition in a friendly, personal way. What's more, it's really not difficult these days to record and edit your video using one of the many different tools out there that can capture video, like still cameras, webcams, and camcorders, and a whole range of editing tools, both free and not. This tutorial will show you how to add some of your videos to your Excite Pro page designs in just a matter of minutes. Here on the 4-Hour website, we're compiling articles on European tourism as part of our Mini Retirements section, and we've recently collected some great video footage of one of the Carnival parades in Spain. Why not embed the video right on the page? It's super easy, and you have all sorts of control over the player's aesthetics and functionality. To get started, just navigate to your page and find a handy spot where you'd like your video to go, preferably near the top so that your audience doesn't miss it. Now, just right-click, go to Insert Audio Video, and choose Video Player. Or, you could just launch the wizard right from your toolbar. Excite Pro then presents you with a simple five-step wizard that makes inserting and customizing your video a snap. The first step, obviously, is to select your video file. Excite Pro accepts QuickTime MOVs, MPEGs, AVIs, WMV, ASF, FLV, and SWIFT files, so there are plenty of file formats to choose from. When Excite Pro embeds your video, it will be automatically converted to the appropriate FLV format for web streaming. Step 2. Choose a size. Remember that Excite Pro will be remastering your original video and not just resizing it. Therefore, your choice here will have a profound effect on the resultant video's file size, and thus on how smoothly it plays over a visitor's net connection. Make sure to check off Keep Aspect Ratio if you don't want your content stretched out of proportion. We'll keep it full size for the purposes of this demonstration, but for practicality's sake you'd normally want to go smaller than a width of 640 pixels. Next, choose from low to highest quality, which also affects your file size. Your choice will depend on the content and how important the end quality is to you. Go high for video with lots of detail, and to keep the resultant video as close as possible to the original recording quality. The fourth step determines how and when the video plays back. You can have it start directly upon loading the page, or wait for the user to click the play button. This is really a matter of personal taste. The video will begin downloading upon page load regardless, so there's no real bandwidth savings either way. If you want your dynamic menu navigation to be able to appear over the top of your video, make sure to check Set W Mode to Transparent. The final step is to preview your video. Just click the Generate and Preview button. It will go through the process of converting and displaying your content in a web page. Depending on length, this may take a while, so please be patient. Let's assume for argument's sake that our preview looks great and we want to go straight to adding it to our page. I would have clicked the Finish button, and let's just skip ahead. And here you see your content. The user can easily fast-forward through it, control the volume, even blow it up full screen if they want. The space for your video on the page is marked by a dotted line box. If you wish to adjust the quality or size of your video, you can always do so by right-clicking and choosing Video Properties. If a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth a novel, and Excite Pro makes the delivery of quality video child's play.